I love Little Caesar's crazy dippers. Today, CoverGirl presents... Pelican Convertible! So hurry, your choice... You think your pharmacist is always right. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. A beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this beauty wood. A neighborly day for beauty. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Hello. My name is Mia Younghands, and in a hypothetical TV Hall of Fame, Mr. Rogers absolutely deserves to be there. Hi. <laughs> Fred Rogers, or better known as Mr. Rogers, was the creator and host of the American children's television show, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Mr. Rogers was born in 1928 and died at the age of 78 in 2003 after a tragic battle with stomach cancer. He was commonly recognized for his soft speaking voice, iconic cardigan sweaters, and changing the world of children's television and leading the way for many children's shows today. As I said before, Fred Rogers was the creator and host of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. The show ran from 1966 to August 2001. The show was aimed at preschoolers and young children and every 28 minute episode taught important lessons focusing on self-love and kindness as well as other important lessons in a way that children could actually understand the show regularly featured mr rogers his pet goldfish a small cast of neighbors puppets and special guests now the show's main lessons were always on kindness and self-love and being true to who you are but the show also taught many other very important lessons to children these include divorce did you ever know any grown-ups who got married and then later they got a divorce? Well, it is something that people can talk about. Fears of growing up. I trust that you're growing in ways that will help you with whatever feelings you may have. Destigmatizing physical handicaps. Very fancy machine, but, you, but you're the one who makes it go. Right. Did it take a long time to learn how? No, not really. Death, loss, and mourning. Yes. My dog Mitzi. I really missed her when she died. And racial issues. Racial issues specifically were tackled in episode 1065, where Mr. Rogers invites Officer Clemens to soak his feet in a kiddie pool with him on a hot day in the neighborhood. Hmm. Well, thank you for your refreshments. Oh, I'm glad you like it. <laughs> You're welcome, Officer Clement. This episode was specifically groundbreaking as it aired in 1969 when most pools were still segregated. The large overarching message of almost every single Mr. Rogers episode is how being kind is the most important thing you can be. In a quote from the man himself, there are three ways to ultimate success. The first way is to be kind. The second way is to be kind. The third way is to be kind. But how does kindness land you a spot in the TV Hall of Fame? Well, Mr. Rogers wasn't just kind, he was revolutionary. Children's shows like this did not exist before him. In a quote from Fred Rogers in an interview with CNN, I went into television because I hated it so. Children's show at the time were loud, exciting, and flashy. And Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood did the exact opposite with their low budget sets and much more calm energy around the show. As I listed before, Mr. Rogers talked about a lot of very difficult to talk about topics, but managed to pull them all off flawlessly. This was again due to his gentle nature. He got down to a child's level and talked to them in a way that was comforting and nurturing that they really understood. The show became such a comfort for both children and parents alike. Mr. Rogers created a new form of interacting with a young audience, impacting the very future of children's television. There are countless examples of Mr. Rogers' influence in children's TV, but here are just a few notable ones. Firstly, being Mr. Rogers' direct competitor, airing in 1969, three years after Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, Sesame Street. Sesame Street is another example of a children's show that features both human and puppet casts, as well as a pet goldfish in a future spin-off, Elmo's World, very similar to Mr. Rogers. Sesame Street also talked about very difficult topics with children with the same gentle compassion that Mr. Rogers did. The next example of Mr. Rogers' impact is very close to my heart because I grew up with it. Blue's Clues. Hi out there! And specifically, I'm going to be talking about the first host of the show, Steve, or Steve Burns. Steve talked to his audience in a very similar way to Mr. Rogers 
Some news outlets even referred to him as the new Mr. Rogers when the show first aired. And finally, in very recent children's TV, first airing in 2012 is Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood is a direct reboot slash spinoff of the original Mr. Rogers Neighborhood show. However, this one was completely animated. This show was once again aimed at preschoolers, but I was already 11 years old when the show came out, so I didn't watch it, nor do I really know a whole lot about it. The reason Mr. Rogers' influence is in so much children's media today is because of how successful it was. The show itself was extremely popular with children, airing from 1966 all the way to 2001 with 895 episodes. So of course, other children's media following is going to try to emulate that success. Fred Rogers' impact on American television leads a legacy of kindness that will live on in both the hearts of children and adults for years to come. So in a hypothetical TV hall of fame, yes, Mr. Rogers absolutely deserves to be there. And in a real world TV Hall of Fame, in 1999, Mr. Rogers was inducted into the Academy of Television Arts and Sciences Television Hall of Fame. But I only found out about this like halfway through researching, so it's not cheating. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. And in the words of Mr. Rogers, you always make each day such a special day. You know how? By just your being you. Only one person in this whole world like you, that's you yourself. I'll be back next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>